Hi, I'd like to show you an overview of all the features of my file-based level editor system in Unity. The idea behind this is to allow game developers to quickly build, edit and prototype levels using a grid-based system. As you can see, all the blocks are snapped to the grid and displayed in 2D. However, using this system we've built a full 3D level. You can use this level editor by importing your custom blocks in the resources prefabs folder, as you can see here. If you then select the grid and open the grid window, these blocks will appear in the list. You can filter blocks by theme by adding a description in their name and then filter to only display these blocks. So for example, if I filter by corporate, I will only see the corporate themed blocks. You can place objects by clicking on their asset preview and then a preview of this block will appear in the editor. You can place one block by left clicking or you can keep placing blocks by holding down the spacebar. You can remove a block by right clicking on it and you can rotate a block simply by pressing the R button while hovering over it. You can customize and change all of your grid settings and these will get saved for ease of use and you can simply test your level by pressing play. So for example if I wanted to have less grid rows, I can change this, if I want to add more, if I want to change the grid tile size, I can do so, or if I want to increase them, and I can even change the asset preview tile size of my grid window. And these will automatically scale to whatever size the window has. Let's say I wanted to remake the second part of the level. Well, let's have a playthrough first. So I can test this level simply by pressing play and a spawning object will spawn my character and the camera system and all of the other mechanics of my game like a gravity switch will just work as intended. So here I'm gonna jump on a launching platform and in this part of the level I don't really want this light blue block and I also don't want to replay this part of the level already because that would make me lose time. So if I stop playing, the grid window will automatically open itself again. Let's say I want to place uh, blocks with grass on top and I want to make like a small hill here. So I remove these blocks. Okay, now I want to test this but I don't want to start again from the start. So if I click on the selection mode, select my spawning object and click where I want to start, for example here, and then press play, my character spa will spawn at this new location and I can instantly test the changes I've made to the level. Thank you for watching and I will keep you updated with the latest updates.